Ok. Good morning, all. Okay, we'll continue our book reading this morning. The Toyota Way to Service Excellence by Jeffrey K. Leica and Karen Ross. We are in chapter 2. It says the Toyota Way continues to evolve. In our previous pages, we've looked at the Toyota leaders as coach. We've looked at the three waves. The first way, which is teaching the principles of the Toyota way. The second way, which is the Toyota business practice to put the theory into action. And the third way, which we looked at yesterday on the job development of how to coach leaders, learning how to coach leaders. In this TBP project, there are four steps or four models to OJD, that is on the job development. One is to pick a problem with your team, which we explained yesterday. Number two is to appropriately divide the work among accountable team members and make the direction compelling. Then the third one is executing within broad boundaries, monitor and coach, that is do and check, which I explained to be checks and balance. Then the fourth one is feedback, recognition, and reflection. Today on page 339, looking at the Toyota way in sales and marketing, still in chapter 2, at the Toyota way in sales and marketing. So look, looking at how Toyota has continued to evolve in sales and marketing. So for decades, for decades in Japan, Toyota Motor Sales Incorporation was a separate corporation from Toyota Motor Company <coughs> Incorporation. In response to an antitrust regulation, these two parts of the company were separated in 1950 and the sales organization was not reunited with Toyota Motor Company Incorporation until 1982. In the United States, prior to 2015, Toyota Motors Sales USA Incorporation continued to be a separate subsidiary with a separate location in Torrance, 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 sorry, Torrance California. North American engineers and manufacturing team members saw the sales team members as living in an ivory tower in a pristine office complex that looked more like a university campus than a manufacturing site. Toyota executives had a vision of a unified Toyota way culture and in 2015 began the move of both Toyota engineering and manufacturing and Toyota Motors sales to a new campus in Plano, Texas. While the Toyota way model itself is a is generic. Toyota believed there was value for creating some specialized booklets and trainings for non-manufacturing areas. The two-way in sales and marketing was also introduced by Fujio Chio in 2001. Over time, other booklets were introduced for accounting, purchasing, human resource management and other functions. Let's consider the sales and marketing document as an example of how the Toyota way is applied to a pure service organization. The Toyota way in sales and marketing introduces a 5P model of purpose, principle, people, process, and problem solving. Although on the surface, this may appear to be a somewhat different model. It is derived from the same general concept of respect for people and continuous improvement. As they are described in Toyota Way in sales and marketing booklets, the five P's are purpose, connecting to the fundamental idea of Toyota, two, principles, connecting to the vision and mission, three, people, connecting and respecting our most important assets. Four, process, connecting to recommended strategy for satisfying customers. 
and five practices connecting to actions and measures to ensure marketing number one purpose connecting to the fundamental idea of toyota this includes the customers the customer this includes the customer is number one and better car value through three c's for harmonious growth that is communication consideration and cooperation Number two, principle, principles connecting to the vision and mission. The vision and mission are summarized in figure 2.5. Note that sales and marketing contribute to developing lifetime customers and act as the radar for all of the Toyota. We need to convey appropriate information to all of Toyota, including suppliers, researcher and development as well as the production side. In other words, our mission is to research and understand potential customers' needs. One positive outcome of Toyota's recall crisis of 2009 was a resurgence of the role of Toyota Motor Sales, North America, in transmitting customers' need throughout Toyota. For example, the service call center had invaluable intelligence about the customer, information that had been mostly ignored but was now in great demand as engineering and manufacturing took up the challenging, challenges of being more responsive to customers. Number three, people. Connecting to and respecting our most important assets. Former President Eji Toyoda is quoted in the booklet people are the most important asset of toyota and the determinants of the rise and fall of toyota the model for people is shown in figure 2.6 interestingly the model also connects people to the toyota production system tps concept of just in time describing a balance between two opposing teams of providing fast and flexible response to customer and building sales mechanisms that are different that are sorry sales mechanisms that are efficient and waste free as we see in our chapter on process giving customers exactly what they want when they want it and having efficient stable work patterns can sometimes require trade-offs. When he first become, became president, Shoichiro Toyoda introduced the earlier mentioned three C's for harmonious growth, which is communication, consideration, and co cooperation, and the three C's for innovation, which is creativity, challenge, and courage which are central to the Toyota Way 2001 values of challenge and Kaizen. He gave a distinctive Toyota-like definition of the third C, courage. It is most important to take the relevant factor in all situations into careful, close consideration and to have the courage to make clear decisions and carry them out boldly. The more Uncertain the future is, the more important it is to have courage. Okay, this is where we'll stop for our reading to name on the third model of sales and marketing. It says people connecting to and respecting our most important assets. So one of the Toyota ways in sales and marketing also includes people so they tend to include their customers in anything they are doing they include them in their decision making in their problem solving they look they do things that will satisfy their customers that will make their customers not to complain or rather not to lose their customer so they define their customer as important assets so in every organization your customers are your important assets and you should put down uh, measures that will satisfy them.
other measures that will continue to um, improve your services with them. Number one says connecting to uh, and the fundamental idea of Toyota. Still talking about customers as the number one people. So as they consider customer, as they look at the interest of customers, as they look at what customers want, it makes them to build better values by, you know, making a um, better car. How do they build these um, better values for customers? By using the three C's for harmonious growth, which is communication, consideration, and communication. So these three things are important when you're um, dealing with customers and considering them as one of your most important assets in a company. Then the second one said principles, which is connecting to the vision and the mission. So the mission and vision of Toyota is actually, their vision is to become the most successful and respected car company in each market around the world, to offer customers the best purchasing and ownership experience why their mission is customer first slash lifetime customer and radar for all of Toyota. So whatever their principle is working in, in accordance with their vision and their mission. So they respect people, they continue to improve, they have a purpose for creating whatever they are creating. They have principles, they are people oriented, they are customer centric, their processes are actually made or done in order to satisfy customers and not waste their time and they practice these things every day they call it the 5p modeling for sales and marketing so this is just a brief summary of where we've read this morning the toyota way in sales and um, marketing and i believe uh, we all understand uh, what we've read this um, morning thank you all for listening